Hi everyone. Um, so in sharing some of our travel videos um, from our channel um, with other people, we've gotten a few questions on kind of how we find um, destinations that we want to go to and just general um, how we find flights. So I, there are two main websites that I like to use, but um, the main one that I find flight tickets on is Google Flights. So this is going to be a tutorial on how I like to use Google Flights. So to start, um, you just go to flights.google.com. Whoops. All right, there we go. And um, you come to this page to start. And um, so in general, before I start looking, I usually know that there are, say, flights uh, to Europe. Prices have generally gone down. So let's say I get a flight alert, um, and I'll talk about that in another video. Um, and it's saying generally European flight prices are down. So I like to go to explore up here. Um, and it pops up, it, it automatically knows where I am, Charlotte, and, um, and it just pops up with like flights to the US and it says here one week trip. So I like to explore like this. So first you just leave the where to blank, leave it just like that. Um, and then I like to click something generally I know when I want to travel. For example, um, we have an upcoming trip in December now. So I'm just, this is kind of how I went about finding that. So I just click December and you can pick weekend one week or two. And I'm just gonna leave it on one week. Um, and then you click done and it'll change, just let it load. Um, and then I know that I wanna go to Europe. So I'm just gonna move the map over to Europe and then it'll all populate here with some deals um, for various weeks. See, if you notice over here, obviously we don't want to go there right now, but um, we see like December 1 to 7, 1 to 8. So it just is finding the cheapest price in the month that you chose. Um, so this is where I add some filters um, because some of these might not be the most ideal itinerary and that type of thing. So the first thing to clean up the map a little bit I choose travel mode and I say flights only because right now it's showing me like every tiny small town where I'd have to maybe drive to somewhere. Um, so this is going to show me only airports. Okay. And then um, I'm also going to, you can filter for a lot of things here, airlines and things like that, but this is the price filter right here. So I'm going to filter. I really only want to see, see it's showing kind of expensive places. I really only want to see things like, say, under $500 for the cheapest flight. So I'm going to, I'm going to go uh, for that. All right. And then um, this is see it's narrowing down our search as we go. So I'm going to zoom in to kind of an area where I, and you can just zoom in using this, or you can zoom in on your mouse using the scroll button. And to drag it around, I'm just clicking and holding. Um, okay, so this is kind of how I discovered where we want to go in December. So I'm looking here at different cities. I see Brussels is 450. And so I'm, I'm just kind of picking some based on this. So I just want to see generally what the um, flights are going to look like. I'm going to apply one more filter here. I'm going to do stops. So that's how many times you have to change planes. From Charlotte, it's starting in Charlotte, there's not that many nonstop flights. So I'm just going to hit one stop or fewer. You can hit nonstop, but you're going to really limit your search if you're flying from like a, a, a less popular airport like Charlotte. Um, so I'm going to go one stop or fewer. All right. And I still have a ton. This is really amazing. For all of these are from Charlotte, one stop or less, and uh, all of these cities. So I'm going to go ahead and click Brussels. And it's showing me... Um, when you, it'll pop up over here, it'll show me an example date. You can change your dates, but I'll show you. So this is telling you some of the cool things to see there. If you keep scrolling, it says flights from Charlotte. And this is really helpful. Prices are currently low. They're $681 cheaper than usual, which is crazy. That That's like it's more than 50% off right now, basically. And here are some example flights. So if you just click on one or you click view flights, you'll get a new screen popped up. So it opened a new tab. Now we're still on Google Flights, and it's showing you um, an example here. Charlotte to Brussels round trip. 
and December 1 to 7, and you can change it like this. So now we're here, and we're seeing some examples here. So let's click on some. So here's, I like this is on Lufthansa Airlines, which is really cool because the first leg of the trip is Charlotte to Munich. This one connects in, so you can, if you open it, you can see, if you click the little arrow drop down, you can see the details. So first you go to Chicago for two hours, three and a half hour layover, that's not bad. And then Chicago to Brussels. So I'm gonna click on this one, let's say select flight for the outgoing. And then let's see on the way back, I like, um, we can go, let's go through, they're all the same price. They're, these two are the same price. So I can pick, do I wanna connect in Washington DC or Chicago? I'm gonna pick Washington DC because it's a shorter flight to Charlotte. So I'm gonna go ahead and click select flight. And then it's showing me my itinerary and then it even shows you how to book it. So now it's showing you 454 for basic economy. And here's where you wanna pay attention. For basic economy, you get a free carry-on bag, but your first checked bag round trip is gonna be $150. So that's $75 each way to check a bag. You don't get to pick your seat. You do get assigned a seat at check-in, obviously, and then you can change it, but you don't get to pick one. Um, and then you don't, you don't get to change your ticket or anything like that. So you want to um, consider whether you're gonna check a bag and wanna select a seat, and you could pick main cabin um, and kind of compare the price difference. So it's like $180 more. And your check bag is going to be 150 and your seat selection is going to be more than that. So if you want to check a bag and select a seat, you're probably going to want to go for the economy fair 634 that includes seat selection and free change, which is really great. Um, and then your bag and everything. So I'd recommend that. And if you click continue, it will just open um, the United website, I believe, where you can actually purchase the ticket. So or you could go to the United website yourself. So it's loading the United website. Um, but in the meantime, let me, okay, so there you go. And you can just fill in your info here. There's the same price we were just looking at, 633, which was for the economy ticket. Um, going back to this, um, another way I like to do things and the way that we found our current ticket uh, which is starting in Brussels and returning from Geneva. So I, I look at two cities that have the lowest price, which is Brussels and Geneva. And um, you can also see some cheap places, cheap dates to go to Geneva um, in the same way. And you can see it's also on United, which is good. So then here's how I basically get two cities for the same price. So what I do is um, I click, I change this up here to multi-city. Okay, and so what this, you can see it made two different lines now. And I know that Brussels from my previous search here, whoops, it said um, December 1st was inexpensive. And then when I did this search back, it had said that the 13th was inexpensive. So I'm gonna say, I wanna go to Brussels on December the 1st and back on the 13th. And again, you can play around with the dates on this. Um, so you need to change it to Geneva. That's what I picked. And then it'll find flights like this. So now we see 460, 447. So this is how you can, so the first flight I said is gonna go Charlotte to Brussels. So let me pick one here. Let's go with the Chicago one. And then back, it's um, a 463 or um, other options through on Air Canada. This is saying, oh, you have a really long layover. So you'd, you wanna play with it and, and find an itinerary that doesn't have that. But I mean, hey, you, if you want another stop in Munich, that's complicated with kids. So, so I wouldn't book this, but um, if it was just me and my husband, I'd consider that because you, could, you get like basically a free full day in Munich also which is uh, basically the morning in Munich, 9 p.m. and then 1 p.m. the next day. So, um, so yeah, so that would be going into Brussels and flying out of Geneva. And then you could, you know, take the train between them and explore other cities or rent a car along the way. 
Um, so the, yeah, that is uh, overall how I like to use Google Flights using the Explorer function. Um, I hope this little tutorial was helpful for someone and um, I'm hoping to do a few more um, maybe in the in the coming days of other um, websites and travel tips the way that I like to use them. Have a great day.